are. Time to go. Let me pump this thing to the tippity top. I'm live. Woo! Good morning, y'all. It's your boy, Michael Kaya, world famous, oh, world renowned, oh. and often talked about a legend comedian. And you're at the Michael Kaya Morning Show on Friday, fun day. Good morning, family. What can I say? God woke us up on this beautiful day. He's generous, he's wonderful, he's kind and great. So let's show our Father we appreciate. Hey, God's good. God's good. God good. Ba 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 do ba ba. Hey, good morning, family. What can I say? God woke us up on this beautiful day. He's generous, he's wonderful, he's kind and great. So let's show our Father we appreciate. Hey, God's good. God's good. God's good. Ba 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 do ba. God is good. Woo! God is good. God is good. You better let him use you. It's the Michael Kaya Morning Show. Y'all here bright and early. So if you get up this early, you probably already know where you are. But I need to make sure you know. Boom. So I hit you with that title real quick, the Michael Kaya Morning Show. And for those of you who don't know where you are, hit you with this face right here. What is it? Wait. Uh, so that second picture is actually the Black Persian Queen. Unfortunately, she will not be joining us this morning, okay? And yes, Debbie Howard, God is everything. You better say an amen on that. Where my bells at around here? I don't have none of my tools. I've been gone for three weeks. Okay, all right. I'm just glad to say ding -ling. But that means a bell. Please don't take that any further than that because uh, we are a family show. Oh, you know what it is? I left everything up in the office upstairs because I had been doing the shows from the office since my computer was down in North Carolina. What was your computer doing in North Carolina? Well, it's waiting for me to show up so I can do the one-man play, Michael Kaya's Morning. Good morning, uh, Malik Salim. What up, brother? Good morning. So listen, um, let me. I got to talk to you all a little bit before we bring on our co-host this morning. We have a guest co-host uh, because the wonderful – Persian Black Queen is on the road already. Y'all been hearing us talk about it. Y'all been hearing talk about how she gonna come in, how she moving the family. So we're gonna be here both in this city, tearing it up. But she's or actually physically driving. She she's the driver on the road, so she won't be able to hop on this morning. But she's with us with spirit. Good morning, everybody. Y'all looking good. Coming on in. You better come on in. You bet. Good morning. Let me see who I'm saying. Good morning. Got a bunch of good morning people hopped on here. Let me see now. Let me see now. Let me see now. Let me see now. Hey, Malik Robert Swiney Jr. I don't remember seeing you. Jamie McCoy, good morning. Yvette, good morning. Debbie Howard, I love you so much. Uh, Dorothy Clark Boyd, woo, God is great. You know, a lot of people like to say God is great. I say chicken is great. I say chicken is good and God is great. God is great. And thank you for saying God is great. Because they like to say God is good, but that ain't enough. For the mask, to the head kookamooka and bottle wash of my life. Rosemary Smith, good morning to all the people that you said hello to the group. Hey, Rich. Jeff Rich is here. Uh, oh, I love these. I love y'all, and I've missed y'all, as you can see. I've been gone three weeks. Two of the weeks we worked this from on the road. And then all this week that I was in uh, Atlanta shooting the film, I wasn't able to jump on live. Um, so let me jump on right now and show you some of the things from the film that I really want you to see. Okay, that's the first makeup. And I'm in this thing that's called, the movie is a beautiful, beautiful movie called Tomato Soup. Tomato Soup. And this is, um, look at it. I'm using a binocular. I mean, a magnifying glass so I can see the pictures I'm trying to put up. This is the set. We're on Tomato Shoot. That's my, that's my co-star right there. Um, do 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 do. The boy is great. This boy is a great actor. He's funny. He's wise. You know, he know how to get on in there and say what he's supposed to say and, and get out. You know, so that's some of it. But what I also had a picture of the directors and us. Wait a minute, where's the directors? You know, I put pictures up. And I think what happens is they come right behind me and take them back down. Because I looked at the picture. I am certain. And that's crazy. How'd they remove that picture so quick? Ooh, one day I'm a fan of they and I'm, ooh, I'm going to give them a big old. Okay, let me take that picture down. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. With that picture up, 
Could y'all hear anything I was saying? Shake your head, Kamal. Oh, you can hear me talk while the picture's up? Okay. All right, cool. In fact, what you talking about, Kamal? Why are you talking to Kamal? Who is, why is Kamal in the back? Well, because Kamal speaks. This brother is going to be our guest co-host today, standing in for the Persian Black Queen, the wonderful Ashley Gale, who I love. I'm so excited she's coming to join me. But let me bring on my co-host right now, the wonderful, the awesome Kamal Speaks. Boom, just like that. But boom. Yeah, boy, good morning. How you oh, doing? Like what does the shirt say, Black? Uh, it says Black, black Watch. Yeah. Yep, that's what it says. You read it better than me. I couldn't see it. I had to look is, down. Is that a real polo shirt? <laughs> yeah, and what you... Well, what, I, what, how right? come there's two people on that horse? I'm trying to figure out, why is that second person? I'm uh, joking. I'm joking. Oh, okay, Ain't okay. <laughs> You know, you auditioning to be the uh, the, the, what, the what's the name of them guys, the village people. <laughs> you, you're the new construction worker. <laughs> oh, with my outfit, I better change up then because you trying to put me out there. I ain't doing out like that. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, good morning, brother. I'm glad you doing in for us, man. Man, I'm amazing, brother. I'm I'm so good. I'm my life is so good right now. If I even tell you about it, you're going to think I'm bragging. And I promise y'all, I am not. I am just being grateful to Father God for so much stuff. They put us in a position to do the things we want to do. How long you been doing your poetry, brother? Oh, well, last month made officially two years. Woo! Come on, brother. You're brilliant, especially the only been doing it for two years. Now, listen, everybody, this is a special today. We're going 90 minutes. We have several great artists. We heavy on poets. Uh, we don't have that many comedians, but we got a bunch of poets. I couldn't find a vocalist, and y'all do not want me to sing. Okay, uh, so we're just going to be talking about the show, talking about stuff that happened over the last three weeks. Being happy this Friday, fun day. This is the end of the week for a lot of y'all. You know, you can get started, get your weekend on, do your doggone thing. Um, come out. So I had this three-week run, brother. So at first I did uh, D.C., and I've been trying to do the D.C. improv probably as long as I've been doing comedy. i tried at least 15, 20 years I'm trying to go in. I asked so many times. They never brought me on. They finally broke down and brought me on. And brother, I killed it. Sold out the shows. They went nuts. They can't wait for me to come back. So yay on that from oh. there. Huh? That's huh? I mean, the push alone. Like, people don't understand. <laughs> your plan starts in your head, so it starts that day. But for people to actually see your vision, you have to push so hard. And it may take that 20 years for you to finally get that spot that you know you're going to burn down and kill. And it's that push, that that push. My goodness. I'm clapping for the push because I already know what you was going to do once you got in the building. But the push is what the round of applause. Thank you. I, I, I received that, King, because, you know, I, I, I see young brothers every day who make a point to come over to me just to speak to me and say, oh, gee, thank you. You make our path easier. That kind of stuff blows my mind. That's the kind of stuff that just softens my heart because I know I'm not just out here grinding. And I'm out here grinding, brother. I'm trying to be an example to everybody about what the grind is all about. So I get up every morning and do my morning show unless I'm on the set of a film. You know, if I'm not doing that, I'm writing. I'm doing something, but I keep pushing and pushing and pushing. The thing I want to mention when you said you know, the grind when you said the push is that you'll be surprised how many people quit five minutes before the miracle happens. Oh, five, five minutes before the magic kicks in, they quit. I can't take no more. I, I ain't never quit. Never, ever, 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 never, ever, 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 never, ever am I quitting. I'm got to pop up in the morning, ready to go. I don't care what you throw at me. I'm going to keep it going. I want that to be an example for other people. So I left D.C and went to North Carolina, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I got to show some of these pictures to do my one-man play, Michael Kaya's mama. Michael Kaya's mama. And I got to tell you guys, I was nervous. Thank you. I was. I had to admit I was, I was nervous because I hadn't done the play. And you can hear me talk, right? Yeah, I can hear you. I can okay. hear you clear. So I hadn't done the play. This is the setup. So my 
It's, it's in my dressing room, which also serves as my house and everything else. You know, um, it's not an angle of the set. And what blew me away is Ben Vereen. Ben Vereen came twice. Now, pull yourself from behind the picture. Come on. The other way. There you go. Okay. So Ben Vereen, who was a genius, came twice. And he blows my mind because I was watching him when I was a kid. When I was thinking about acting, I would watch him do a show called Ben Vereen Coming At You. And it was off the chain. He did one scene where he was in blackface. He's Burt Williams. And he peels the blackface off and tells his sad story. It's brilliant. Years later, I met him once or twice. But I didn't know he was going to come to the play. He came not once, but the brother came twice. And he gave me pointers after mm. the first act, how to close the first act. I tried his pointers. It made it that much better. Then he wrote me since I was back. This girl's name is, is uh, Lisa. Arendelle, this girl can act her face off. You've seen in a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch of Tyler Perry things, uh, but she can act. She came to the show. She said the thing is, it moved me. Don Lewis came to the show. Um, this is my friend Zakia. He's showing you some of the people who came to the show. That's us back on the set again. I ain't even know this dude. He just walked up to do that thing they say about brother. I've been following you, man. I'm proud. So. I, I'm jammed up on these pictures because I had them ready. That's North Carolina where we were doing the place. Just some of the kids came and took photos with me. Um, you, I told you I moved from North Carolina. I was in Greensboro, right next door to Winston. What? When I started the poetry two years ago, I was in Greensboro, and I used to just go to the park and tell people my poetry, and then walk up and down Elm Street and tell people my poetry. And I said, "It's no poetry shows. I got to go to Atlanta." So I moved to wow. Atlanta, a car, and slept at the rest stop. Wow! And see, that's a grind. That you slept at the at the. I was listening to Steve Harvey yesterday talking about him sleeping in his car. And he was said he says he was sleeping in his car, and then he will go to the YMCA, you know, or local gym, and take his baths, yeah. you know. And then he would sleep in his car, and how he would figure out how to save this amount of money, how how not to do it. It's look. Here's the thing: we all start the same place. We start at zero, with nothing, no skills, no ideals, no direction, and. We can get to wherever we want to get to if we find direction and work towards it. I know me, I wasted tons and tons of years smoking crack cocaine. That's why my play is very excellent because it tells that story and it shows also the recovery that now I'm back and I'm doing everything. I'm sitting smack dab in the middle of my dream. But I am here to be a living example that you can turn your life around. No matter who you are, no matter what's going on with you, you can, but you just have to want to that quick. It's that quick. I mean, at the end of the day, we put our own excuses in our heads. We got excuses why we don't go for our, our purpose in life. You know, they mm -hmm. people use their kids. No, your kids should be the reason you are going for the purpose. Well, time. Mm -hmm. You got more than enough time because it's up to you to decide what you want to do. And that's why I say you're a shining example. People come up to you because you paved the way two different ways. You paved the way to show them how to work hard, and then you paved the way just to open the door for uh, more comedians to be looked at. So, I, I, you know, I think that's a yeah. blessing. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to open the door for more poets to be exposed to bigger things. I, the arts are so important. You know, all this stuff's been cut off. The, the government stopped giving money to that. We used to have arts and crafts in school. That ain't there no more. Yeah. Ain't no economics. In school, remember you used to like to cook something. You had to cook at least one. Yeah, you had to cook. cook. Oh, you had to take a shot. All the things that are are gone, you know. And but these you kids know what? Cook. they don't know how to cook. <laughs> Nowadays, you can catch somebody twenty years old don't know how to cook. I was like, man, I cooked the whole dinner when I was eight. Whole dinner. <laughs> what? Oh my god! All right, listen, we got to get going. Uh, one topic I need us to jump on right now. I don't know if y'all saw this or not. I hope you did see it. Uh, where this black cop manhandles this woman that won't sign a ticket. Now, that's out there everywhere. So if you're watching at all, you've probably seen it. All right. So I was listening yesterday to Kevin Hart's show. And one brother said, well, the officer was correct. 
you know, because she didn't sign the ticket, you know. And so, you know, he has a right to arrest her if she don't sign the ticket. And that's true. That 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 part is true. She certainly he has a right to arrest her, but he also has uh, a right to have discretion. He can decide what he wants to do. You know, once he decided he's gonna handcuff the arrest her, then she starts trying to fight and get out of that. She's like, "No, I'll sign a ticket. I told you I signed a ticket." He like, "No, it's too late. I already gave you two chances." So that is not now about law. That's now more about his ego. You know, I told you twice. You didn't do it. I told you. So I'm going to make a, an example of you, throw you on the ground, tase you if I have to, handcuff you. That lady is somebody's mama. You understand me? A black woman, uh, 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 she's not, I would say, a little over middle age black woman being manhandled by a black man. Where's his mama? Where's his sister? How would he feel well, if a police officer treated his family like that? Let me, let me give you my point of view on it. Because right. there's two sides to every story. It's okay. Two Sorry. Now, I grew up in the streets. I was a street dude. So, you know, I'm the first person to be like, F the police. But you got to remember, that is also a black man who's who's doing the job. And we all know it's racist all the way to the top. It's racist in the police department. And you don't know what type of protocol. Like, they read off the back end of that was the reason they was kicking people out the park was because, quote, unquote, there were six murders. So they was laying down law in the park. Now, you don't know if his superior said, hey, you need to do this, you need to do that, or if he's on a, a probationary a, a, a situation where he has to do what he has to do, but when he talked to the young lady, I, I, I heard the tape, it wasn't disrespectful, he explained everything, she asked him for his badge number, he gave it a couple of times. Sometimes, uh, uh, we do too much. Uh, too much is, oh, okay. Stay there, stay there for a second, you're right on that. I just want to touch on that point before you continue. We sometimes do too much. I teach people all the time when the police pull you over, don't do nothing stuff she doing. You don't argue with the police. Don't ask for their badge number. Do like the white folks do. Read it. It's right there. Read it. Plus, it's on the ticket when he writes. So that's really provocation. All right, so go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, so then, and plus, at the end of the day, uh, a lot of... Uh, Okay, I'm gonna give you a better example because what she did is what she did. So, you know, we talked about this. But yesterday I'm leaving Cat's Cafe in Atlanta. You know, I did I did the performance and everything. And I see this young lady and I come up, obviously she had a problem with a security guard. A police comes up, a, a black man, he's about in his mid fifties, probably sixty, and he's like, she's like, and F out of here, she's cursing. She got balloons in her hand, hitting him in the face with the balloons because she's moving her hands. And he's like, Calm down, you're speaking to me. No, I am the wrong B. And boom, 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 boom. And he handled himself so well, but at any moment it could have went left because she was very yeah. aggressive. Very yeah. aggressive. So and then and then if it went left, now we up there trying to get that man fired or and, and remember, because they the, the separation is all different type of ways. They separate us. Uh oh, he, he's police now, he's black, you know, even though they, they 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 degrade him. I got a cousin who's a police officer. And you know, he says, I feel the racial tension. They put certain pressures on us to do things. And you know, I'm not saying that it's right that they succumb to that pressure, but they, they 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 succumb to the pressure of the flesh of believing they have to feel, feed their family, but at the end of the day, you never know what's going on in a person's mind as long as they conduct themselves correctly. Okay, I, he did too much and she did too much, and I tell people all the time: if the police come, they in charge. That's all to it. If the police come, they in charge. So they say, get out, hop up and down on one leg, get your ass out, hop up and down on one leg, because. The fella has a pistol. And you really don't want to be upset in a fella who has a pistol. He has handcuffs. He could shoot you in your behind and go on administrative leave. Ain't nothing going to happen. We see this day after day after day. So people out there, calm down. As far as I'm concerned, the cop was wrong. She was wrong too. But the cop was wrong. And the part that hurts my heart is it's a black man treating a black woman like that. I don't care about a ticket. That's a come when we let stuff like that get away, then it's okay for the police to kill us because we got an air freshener hanging in our car. When we let little stuff like that go, then well, they well, go well, full I, mile. I, I think we just gotta separate uh uh first and foremost, because we gotta understand we can't just say uh, uh you know, and I honor the black woman. I think that's the she's the goddess of gods. Mm -hmm. Um, but 
we got to honor each other. And you got to honor the fact that that was a black man too, because if it would have went left with him, he wouldn't have been on the ministry leave. They would have really gave him the time that fast. He would have mm -hmm. been the example. You feel mm -hmm. me? So now we're talking about, we got to keep that in mind. I did. We just can't be totally biased because you got to remember we are one people. We are one. People. That's right. You know, matter of fact, speaking of the black woman, I just wrote a new poem for the black woman. Do you mind if I say do go on, hit them with that poem, and then we're gonna get started. And you're amazing. Thank you for showing up. Go ahead, Kamal. Speak. My black woman. She plays so many different roles, wears so many different faces. She embraces a mother's graces, love from a sister. Yeah, let me know if you can hear me. Somebody just tried to call me. Wait, hold up. Yeah. What I need you to do, go off and come back on. Go okay. off, come back on. Hey, so listen. Uh, we got a big show ahead today. Uh, our guy, our man on the street guy, is here today. He's not doing man on the street, Derek, but he's coming back with some smooth comedy. Uh, we have these two awesome brothers who uh, I watched them MC at the festival, the, the children's talent show. And these guys have so much light, so much energy. They're actors, directors. Uh, they dance, they rap, they do everything. And their mamas was with them. And their mamas was with them. It just was a family of love that I'll be talking bringing on the day. Bernice Randolph is here. She does motivational poetry. Uh, the Mandre Christy is an actor, director, and film writer. He's acting in one film and directing another. We're going to talk to him. And then Cynthia Walker's going to hit us with another flat point. And of course, it's Friday. So Angela of Culinary Kisses has a special treat, a dish she's going to talk to us about today. I'm sorry I got on my fluorescent shirt, but I just felt fluorescent. I'm not feeling it. Okay. I'm, I'm going to wife beater. Okay. We're going to wife beater this morning. At least I am. You know, I'm in that gym. Ugh. Building it up. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them good. Okay, I'm glad. I ain't nowhere near no gym. I went to the gym two days ago because I heard they had a fantastic cafeteria. Let me get back to um to my my poet. I think he's back. There he is. Come out. And I, I'm sorry. Somebody tried to call me. You know that's that. You know that's always a uh, 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 energy trying to throw off when you're about to enlighten the people. <laughs> so here's a way not to let that happen. So in the future, if you know you're using your device for video stuff, immediately put your phone on airplane mode. That way, nobody can call through and interrupt you. Yeah, but if I put it on airplane mode, see, like I said, YouTube don't work with my Wi-Fi. Oh. Instagram, everything else work with it. So if I put it on airplane mode, then I can't use my uh, cellular internet. Really? Yes. I told you quit fooling with T-Mobile. Go on, do your point. <laughs> my black woman. She plays so many different roles, wears so many different faces. She embraces a mother's graces, the love from a sister when staying in a basement, the smile of a daughter when showing her appreciation. And she inhales the pain of others. Men, sometimes we make it tough for y'all to love us, but y'all get the do job done. Work starts before job one, but that mother will turn as black as the moon to raise a son. And she's the epitome of working a double shift. Controlling exposure ish while going through a motion shift and still finding time to do daddy ish. But she understands she's not a man. That's why she's the strongest woman walking the land. And I salute you for understanding life is crucial. What you do is voodoo or some type of black girl magic. What happened to the black family is tragic, but you sold together what was meant to be destroyed. You fill a void. You are the silence to a black man's noise and your poise to do the impossible, to make obstacles look like everyday tasks. In your eyes, family comes first and your needs come last. So what's a good mother, one who still loves us when she looks in the mirror and doesn't like what she see? She understands the importance of the family tree. So let me be the first to say, even if they snatch your purse away, you're all woman and there's no woman like a black woman. Boy, you better say that. Come on, somebody. Woo! I'm going to have to run up to the office and get my bill so I can be ringing my bill. <laughs> Very excellent, sir. Listen, uh, it's Friday, y'all. I think it's episode 463. I'm not sure, but I know that uh, Rosa Mae will let me get that clear. It is Friday. 
uh, what is the day? The, the, the 12th. This is the 12th of August. We just really cranking up, uh, cranking up the month. We're getting through there. I'm racing to Christmas. I love Christmas. I'm going to have such a wonderful Christmas party. I'm gonna, I mean, my house will be laid. I am very excited about all of that. Uh, but I have a comic friend who's dropping in. The comedian who's supposed to be on could not make it. Just like you, she has T-Mobile. And so <laughs> her stuff fell down. It's all digital. She, she threw me a note five minutes before show time. I got the people on the line with me right now. Okay, so I got a guy who's Wi-Fi and everything else works. You say I got she, prepaid Wi-Fi? I don't you know what you're working with. Paper. I know nobody better not call you or it's going to be all over. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, get your hands together with my friend, Derek Keener, Man on the Street is back. Woo! Derek! <laughs> oh, my you, man. You're going to do your Man on the Street next week, though, because you hey, sent me two good ones. You've been on it. You I was going to say, did you see this last one I sent you? Because that joke there, that's funny to me. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. You got some good ones. You got some good ones. We're going to do them next week. Now listen, I've been listening to the whole show. I've been watching the whole show. Kim, right. I want to do I want to do this my way. I want to give you your flowers first off. Let me point that way. Uncle Mike, I want to give you your move your I don't need no flowers. I ain't ever dying, nigga. All right, go. No, ahead. no, 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 no. You you have when I went to LA, when I moved to LA, <laughs> you were the only comedian who was a superstar. You're a superstar in my eyes uh -huh. that treated me like you would treat me in Texas. Man, listen, we went out to breakfast. We went to Venice Beach. We went where I did the radio show. We went everywhere. And Uncle Michael never treated me like I was like I was less than. And I, Thanks, this is bro. when I was starting out. Man, it's my guy. It's my guy, honey grand. <laughs> so I fools with you, Uncle Mike. Um, Thank you. Listen, he ain't got to put his phone on uh, airplane mode. Just put his on do not disturb. He wants to be disturbed. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> he appears to be a little disturbed anyway. If you yeah. Know. yeah. <laughs> hey, I watched that video with that woman. Uncle Mike, there's two videos out there. You should have watched uh -oh. both of them. Uh-oh, tell watched. me about them. I'm with Officer Brooks, uh, badge number 7452. He gave her that badge number so much that I know what the badge number is. <laughs> let, me tell, let me tell you something. When I go on dates, I set up police officer pullovers. I got a lot of uh, friends that are cops. <laughs> I set it up because I want to see how you're going to act. If you, listen, if if we get pulled over and you do this right here, uh-uh, what they stopping us for? <laughs> I just look out the window and say, go ahead, bro. This ain't the one. Because <laughs> you need to know how to act when we get pulled over. Yeah, That's when the police come. Stop putting black men in bad positions to have to defend you. Now, now I got now I got to be tougher than what I want to be today. Yeah, you you got masculine energy. I'm gonna tell you right now. The brother did, the brother did a great poem. I also wrote a poem. Uh oh, come on, come on, sister. When we get pulled over by the cops, I need you to stop. <laughs> be quiet. Where they gonna take us? Ain't the Hyatt. Regency, you don't know what my chick's about to see. <laughs> That's all I wrote. So, I'm going to get my bail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey, that was man, funny. Ain't that nobody funny. got time to be sitting here playing with these people, man. Let me tell you something. That sister was dead wrong. I, uh, I hey, listen here. That police officer Brooks told I stand with Officer Brooks. Officer Brooks had a job to do, brother. You were so right. Officer Brooks looked at that woman and said, uh, he told the man first. He told the man, if you don't sign the ticket, you're going to jail. The brother said, where do I sign? <laughs> no, like, this, this what you didn't see. That man said, that man said, if you don't sign the ticket, sir, you're going to jail. The brother said, where do I sign? See, right. what y'all ain't realize, you see that dress she had on, that maxi dress? That mean that was maximum pressure. <laughs> <laughs> It's a family show. I ain't talking about what I'm talking about. I'm just saying. I'm saying. But they were in the park it, after dark. <laughs> doing what they do. And then they got caught. And he pulled out his nice stick. She was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, so when that police officer got to tell them, hey, because she had, hey, Uncle Mike, she was standing way over there by her car. And Officer Brooks said, ma'am, could you come here? She stood there at the car, looked at him. And he said, ma'am. Could you come here, please? She mm. walked over there. Officer Brooks said, well, this is what it is. 
He told her what it was. She said, she said, what's your badge number? And turned and walked away. And I said, wow, she going back to the car? She could be going to get anything. Now she went to go get her phone, but Officer Brooks could have been afraid at that moment and said, and killed her dead. You, you going to, what are you doing? I asked you to come here and he didn't flinch when she got back wow. over there. The brother was right there quiet. I saw the video. <laughs> Um, Black men know what to do. It's in us, sisters. We gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop putting us in these bad positions. Because when she came back, she said, "What's your name and your badge number?" He said, "Officer Brooks, seven four five two. She Dang. waited a few minutes, typed in her right. phone. Okay, I, with that information, I'm gonna have to side with the officer because <laughs> he did his job and she kept pushing and pushing until he went too far. Uncle I don't Mike, think you should push people around. She called on Jesus when she got to the ground. No, Jesus was standing up. She said, oh, Lord, Jesus, help me. No, no, no. Jesus was helping up top. Jesus uh, don't help on the ground. You should have uh, seen George Floyd. George Floyd was <laughs> when you standing up. There go Jesus. <laughs> well, we, uh, Stacey Quinn, I agree. The officer did not have to manhandle it, no matter what. And this could be the film of this could be good for the training courses in the future to show cops how to go and how not to go too far. And uh, can I say something? Be training for us. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, say something real quick, come on, because we got to move forward. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just want to say, and you know, I come from Brooklyn, and I was in the streets, and and, and, and I seen the way he took her down. I've been taken down before, and I've seen my, my, my fellow people in the streets. He was actually pretty gentle co compared to the way the police really do it. You, you, I'm, I'm going to have to agree with that because I was waiting for him to be even more vicious than he was. But he was he was sufficiently vicious. So Let me, let me tell you something. Michael <laughs> okay. Collier had a joke on, on Def Comedy Jam a long time ago where he said, man, I thought we was watching a rerun of the Rodney King beat. He said, I thought that was just a Tuesday night. <laughs> <laughs> he said that years ago. This ain't nothing new that happened in our community. This mm -mm. is this has been Wait. going on. I like what DL said. DL said, "No, you got pulled over, not me. Because <laughs> I'm quiet over here. When they come by, I got my hands at ten and two. I don't need to see your hands doing none of this in your purse. <laughs> Relax. We going Jeff, home tonight." Jeff said, "You funny as hell, and you are. Thank you, and thank you, Derek. Yeah, you I swear, y'all, I called him three minutes before the show started. I swear to God, and asked him could he jump on. He jumped on and came on. Brilliant, funny. I love you. Hey, hey, Derek, I'm so glad about... Ashley Gale not here today because I'm at another woman's house, <laughs> <laughs> and I won't tell." <laughs> All right, tell people where they can find you. Man, you guys can find me uh, on social media at Derek Keener. It says comedian Derek Keener down there. Uh, this weekend is my first weekend off in three months. Next weekend, I'll be in Shreveport at the LOL Comedy Lounge. The week after that, Paris, Texas. And at a casino in Gary, Indiana. So y'all got to follow your boy. Man. I'm proud of you. You leave us with a woo, woo, woo. Uh, woo. One minute. Let me, let me do mine. Woo woo! Uh oh, we're sorry. West side, West side gangster. Woo 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 woo. woo, woo. I'll meet you this afternoon. Let's do a drive by, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Derek Keener, right here on the Mike Clyde Morning Show. Woo! That was excellente. Thank you, brother. Wow, that was funny and smart, and I can't find him. So I can take him down. Can you help me, Valerie? Thank you. It's funny because I, I was glad I didn't have to fake laugh. Like, I really, really laughed. Please good. don't fake laugh on this show. <laughs> don't do that. If it ain't funny, don't laugh. It was, but it, it was a joke. It was a oh, joke. <laughs> thank you. She's a way. Look who is laughing for real in the back. She rolling back there. Hey, <laughs> hey, Val. Look, I have these two brothers I want to introduce you guys to. Kasim and Khalil. When we did you uh, the uh, National Black Theater Festival, which is something not enough black people even know about, most people don't. Do you know about it? Right, the black, the black, um, the National copy. Black Theater Festival. Do you know about it? No, most black people don't even know about it. This might if they've been doing it over twenty years, and it's every two years in Winston Salem, North Carolina, where they take over the city. Well, these two young men, uh, they were the host for the children's talent show. I was one of the judges with. The co-chair of the event, crazy old bird, bird from uh, from uh, Judge Judy's show, who is brilliant. So we're the judges on it, and Lisa Arendelle, we were the judges uh, 
some of the judges on it. But these two guys were the MCs, and they brought so much light, so much energy to that stage. I was like, oh, I got to work with these brothers. Then they came to my show. Their mom and all of them came to the show. Their girlfriends, oh, my God, their girlfriends are drop dead beautiful. I mean, <laughs> anyway, these boys are awesome. <laughs> they're actors, they're directors, they're producers, they're rappers, they're singers, they're dancers, they're MC. They do it all. Get your hands together for Kasim and Khalil. Woo! Yeah, boy. Woo! Good morning. Where they go? I don't know. I don't know. Valerie, I'm ahead. not near the button. Okay. Don't push nothing else, Valerie. Hold tight. I can't hear them. Hey! 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 It's a hey! <laughs> Love all right. it. And I this why I'm going to look I, like I, this I, the I, whole time. How you doing? I, I put the phone up <laughs> just in case the surface All right. Is right. So this is what we're doing here. We got T-Mobile, too. So, so I'm trying to make sure. Yeah. We're y'all with the T-Mobile. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure everything. Yeah, yeah, T-Mobile got right. us on. I need light different. on your face so I can see y'all yeah, a little better here. A little light on my face. That's better. That's better. I can see one of you. Now, who is who? Who's Kasim and who's Khalil? I'm Kasim. I'm Khalil. Oh man, first of all, love to your mama. Okay. Your mother is amazing. And the way she supports y'all and is there for you guys. She love you too. Don't act like she ain't right here. Say hi, mama. I'm having a, I'm having a bad hair day. I love you, Michael. <laughs> Mama's right there having a bad hair day. I'm grateful that you guys said yes and came on the show this morning. So, okay, I don't need y'all on two screens. So one of y'all, you got to release one screen. That makes us bigger. Yeah, now we can see each other better. No, you can't hear that one. We're going to go to the other screen. Go to the other screen. Because that one is, that's cricket right there. That's not T-Mobile. That's not cricket. even T-Mobile. That's <laughs> cricket. Oh, my goodness. Now they have eliminated themselves all together. Okay, there you are. Okay, let's, let's 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 let me fix Let me fix this configuration, guys. Hold up. Oh, yeah, that's better. Boom. Uh, here. Yeah, just, just ignore that. Ignore that one. Don't. <laughs> what I was trying to do, yeah, what I'm trying to do is find that one so I can get rid of it. Hold oh. on a second. Hold on a second. Because it's taking up the space. Hold on. Kick off studio. That's gone. Bam. Okay, now we're three. Okay. Right. Boom. I can right. see y'all. Now make sure you both are inside the camera where I can see you. I gotta like the game. Mag up a little bit. Yeah, like if you're so what you say now, huh? what you say? Not too close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, I'm just, I'm gonna listen. So tell me, tell me who you guys are. Oh, we man. the roommates. Yeah, we uh, <laughs> we, we tall boy the strongest. Um, we are uh, uh juggernaut war party. Um, we're Kasima Kalo Middleton. Uh, I'm the eldest of, of, of my brother and I, and there's a third from my father. Uh, but uh, Kasim then Khalil, and then the littlest brothers, Makai. Shout out to him. Anyway, Yo, Makai, let's go. Um, but uh, our parents are Tony C. Wright and Keith Middleton. Tony C. Wright is the world renowned uh, uh, first uh, black Miss Mississippi, first black woman born, and uh, see, uh, the first black woman to win Miss Mississippi uh, in 1987. Who won that? Huh? Huh? Who won that? My, My mama. mama. Your mama won Miss Mississippi. She is fine, though. Let me tell you that. She's fine. <laughs> Okay, come on, oh, now. Man. I ain't trying oh, to push up on your mama, man. nothing, but well, I know, I know I'm single. I to request her to come to the hey. camera. Now you know Michael, I, I heard that. Come to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I got to Okay, so, all right, guys, this is your time. This is your point. Tell me what it is you guys want to accomplish in this industry that we're in. So we first, Khalil just graduated for digital cinematography uh, from Full Sail in, in March, I, I graduated. That's when your boy graduated. I'm, gra <laughs> I'm graduating next month for audio uh, engineering. Uh, so we're a big team and cross-reference duo. If you need something, we got all that. Oh, wow. Um, in regards to our musical career, we've been inventing a new genre of music and a culture to, go, uh, to coincide with it. As to Call which, Gumbo. Right. And so it's everything with the mixture of everything. Because in we <laughs> love everything. Zip file in a in a in a zip file. Everything is in a zip file for us. Right. So okay. uh, we acknowledge ourselves as the grandchildren of hip hop and we are uh we we took Juggernaut War Party as a moniker to uh We'll push in honor of our father and his crew uh plague. Uh, so our full name is Juggernaut War Party Children of the Plague. Um and we are 
we're li- we're literally creating a new space, like like, like a what, like a Wu Tang Clan meets Stevie Wonder meets Led Zeppelin kind of thing. And it's important for us because we know we're trying to put on for our household and our neighborhood and our community. Uh, so because we ain't had that growing up, you know, it's important. No, so we we, we we definitely we definitely make an outlet for other young brothers like ourselves you know to saying? do what we do. You know. Mm. So let me ask you. That, oh yeah, yeah. And when oh and, hold on. And uh, yeah, he takes that play. We thinks we're playing. Uh, Khalil ran up. He ran upstairs to get his. I'm gonna wait till. Uh, what do you run upstairs? What do you run upstairs again? Oh, uh, y'all the popo? <laughs> <laughs> You'll see when All he get right. back. I, I don't even explain it to you. I'm going to wait till you get back to explain it to you. Um, and oh what happens God. is we, we understand how important it is to uh, do, do the work of God, do the good work, understand how we can place ourselves within what God would like for us to do based off of our act, natural proclivities and talents and yeah. the success that we've been able to Somebody obtain. Somebody said, you the popo. We the popo of the Lord. We the popo of God, man. So what is that a badge of? We the chaplains. We chaplains. Are we you get chaplain? you married with my mama. Yeah. So- <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking they the police. They got a badge so they can marry you. They chaplains. <laughs> You shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have said that. Said that <laughs> so we got the whole package. I can come over to the house and we can just do this. You can come on right now, bro. <laughs> like, for real, though. And that's the All right, let me ask you this. Do you guys have a piece you could perform for us today? Uh, okay. What, what you wanna? Uh, what you wanna do? What you wanna do? Bro? You know, love you me on my guitar. <laughs> my guitar, Mr. American Idol. You want me to get my guitar? Come on. Did you want me to get my guitar? I want you to get whatever you can so you can come on and perform something. And we are gonna jump off. What, All right. What I get something. Get something. Do a track. Let's All right. I do the connected. I do the track. I do the track right now. I gotta connect the 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 audio interface. That should be That's easy because y'all both got degrees in that. You know what I'm saying? Well, he's I got the, the I got you know, know, know you can still hear I'm, me. I'm behind the scene. I, know. I can hear you. All right, good. Let's do let's do a little uh let's do a little of this. <laughs> let's do a little of this. I'm a, I'm gonna do a nice oh thing. yeah. Hey, 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 hey. For uh, the TV show gonna have to write it. Uh 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 you hey. We're gonna have to be the writer and just tell me where to shoot. <laughs> Straight up, we 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 done, we done finished. I know school. your mama did, so I know y'all haven't had any of those fancy cigarettes this morning. But okay, I'm gonna get out of the way. Are y'all ready? Let's see. Big Willie on the scene, catch him, wailing off on the ops, they try and catch him. We got a free will like it's our choice to bail out or stay on the way. We make it, it's not, not our fault. Sure the the way way we really, really listen, it's not, not our fault. They get wet up. We only on. got gun balls because we easily surf in the West now. We never change it up, we take a tangle down. Now, 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 on the now. scene, going up, you can check it, shoot. But money on the swoosh, ready at the car. Rules, which way you had a guillotine at the auction? You know that they playing games with a rock with the tools. Coming from Roxy, you know we gon' wreck it too. Thinking these stars that they break out from the groove. Nah, we the Freeman on the scene and we always ignore. Same step and rhythm and hand bone. If you ain't got the guns on you, it's all good. We, we do it our hands and we, and we make it count. Oh, nah, nah, that's all y'all get. That's all y'all get for now. That's all y'all get for now. That's an original. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What's That's like, an original. Tell them what the name is. <laughs> 12, Big 12. If y'all know y'all what are two wild boys, man. Okay. Yeah, it's called 12. Y'all see 12? Right. Y'all what? Get them. Get them. Hold on. Let me make sure. I, I want to see what my what my list is saying. Hold on. We try to put the audio back. Uh, I'm taking the audio back. Oh, I'm off. Good. There you go. Today. What's up with it? Huh? Y'all heard all that? You can still hear me, Michael. We we need we need the man of the hour. Well, they got me. Hey, yeah. what up? You clear? You clear? I can't hey, believe I didn't know I had T-Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, listen. Uh, I just need you to tell folks how they can find you because 
I'm, I think if I was listening the first time I'm hearing y'all, I'd be very confused as to what it is y'all do and who y'all are. So I need you to let people, first of all, know how they can find you. Okay. You can find us on our social medias. My name is Kasim Middleton. You can find me Q A A S I M official on everything. On everything. Q A A S I M official on everything. On everything. You can find me Khalil Middleton. K H A L I L M. Just how it's written. Khalil Middleton on everything. On everything. On everything. And oh, we're yeah, gonna be we calling gonna, you about our, our after TV we get show. Off here, we're gonna hit you up about the show. I love mama. Mama is so present. Mama is so present. I love you, mama. Mama, she said that he said love you, mom. I love you all. Hey mama, y'all came to the to the show, Michael Kaya's mama. What did y'all think? Man. Man, you kept picking on me all <laughs> night. <laughs> it was brilliant. Michael, we always come see you. You're you're amazing. I you love know. you. You 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 the highlight of the, the whole damn thing. And it was first, fun. And yeah. It's, and it's always the first ticket we buy is your your show. Absolutely. It'd be you. Absolutely. I love that. I It'd love be that. you. Okay, I'm gonna need y'all to leave me with a woo woo woo. <laughs> Give it up for Kasim and Khalil Milton. And I'll bring y'all back to the show because y'all are oh, crazy. You wow. better believe it. We here. I, I need to know what y'all doing. I need to be part of it. Just let me know which church. I got you. I did. You're right. They oh, about a thousand churches up there. Man, man. y'all play too much, which is so perfect because guess what? If Bernice is not in queue, I'm going right to the prayer. Bernice is here. Bernice is gonna come and do a prayer for us. Then we, I mean, gonna do a poem for us. Then we going to prayer. Hey, you're with Kamal Speaks and Michael Kaya at the Michael Kaya Morning Show, where we do nothing but positivity all day long. And now here they are. Get your hands. Here she is. Get your hands together for Bernice. Why well, I got it done. Bernice Randolph is in the house. Bernice. Special Hi. thank you to you. Special thank you to you because I know you're at work and you just stepped away so you can do this with us. I love that. Tell right. us about you, Bernice. What's what's your story? So I am an inspirational, motivational speaker. Mm -hmm. I share pieces of me. Most of my poetry is something that I experienced or went through. Mm -hmm. So all of life changing events. And my goal is to inspire mostly women, mostly my black sisters, to build better communities and better foundations for our children. Cause mm -hmm. we have a hell of a hand of uh, youngsters. Help, help to us, yeah. <laughs> so this message is titled, Hey Other Woman. Ooh, Hey Other Woman? Okay, yeah. let, me, let me, I'm, I'm gonna wait over here, okay. <laughs> hey Other Woman, Bernice Red. All right. So this message goes out to my sisters, not all my sisters now, just the ones that find it okay to be with somebody else's man. Now don't shoot the messenger and don't come telling me about how fine he is. And I see his lady, his woman, his wife, oh girl, she ain't treating him right. And don't come telling me about how good he made you feel last night. Cause oh girl, honey, she don't be treating him right. And please, don't come telling me about how the kids gonna be all right. Cause if old girl was doing what she was supposed to do, he wouldn't be here with me. No, look at here. Hey, other woman, you have got to go. Hey, other woman, my God, you must not know. For a soda, you would know in order for your world to truly grow. You must stop and let a man know that the chance he's taking, the decisions he made, they may not be all that great, but he chose a wife, made a life sorry, boo, it wasn't with you. So hey, other woman, you have got to go. Don't you know that I am through with the likes of ones like you? So quick to call a man a dog and put him down when you're laying with somebody else's and your children are around and they be the very ones to grow up and let somebody put them either put somebody down you know a man can't be a dog without ones like you boo so boo 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 let's do the math if she and all a woman makes a man a dog what does that make you hmm Hey, other woman, why your spirit so low? Hey, the woman, my God, you must not know. For a soda, you will know that there will come a place and there will be a time that you will meet and have your own man and know the true meaning of he's all mine. Stop telling yourself it's okay to live this way. Being with someone else's man is so unkind, so unreal, so unacceptable, but still you engage in acts that are deplorable. My God, you must not know. Hey, other woman, do you like the way I sound? Are you feeling me? Because I'm feeling you. I once was you, boo. On both sides of the shoe, walked on and shined on by a man who did only what I allow him to do. 
was supposed to cheat on his woman and lose foundation for his child. So I made a change. How about you, boo? Oh, oh, so you're going to stay with him anyway? And you ain't thinking about nothing I got to say. And you think it's okay to live this way? You see, my God, you really don't know. For a certain, you would know the disease you sow, the life you grow. The chances you take are the choices for what you're going to have to choose from. And the life that you steal will be the life that you live. So you see, if you end up with him in the end, my friend, and you think that you're taking her man, trust me, you've only taken her misery. And that's the beginning in your life, boo. So you see, my God, you really should get to know before your harvest take a full course and another family end up destroyed by divorce. Oh, we're talking about yours now. Remember what goes around comes around may skip a generation or two but it comes right back to you now with my mouth i spoke and with your ears you heard when matters i dealt and with your heart hopefully you felt message delivered mic drop woo woo <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah come on i'm standing up on that yes 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 thank you thank you thank you wow that was fire whoa I, I'm 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 gonna let go of the other woman now. I was gonna uh, I was gonna think about let it. Let her go. Tanner Foundation. You gotta think about that too. Yes, man. <laughs> I love it. So so how long have you been writing poets? I started writing actually I wrote this piece back in two thousand and two. After my divorce, it was the other woman that destroyed the foundation of my family. And um, Oh wow. Did she get a chance to see it? Did she get a chance to see the no, uh, unfortunately? Unfortunately, mm, mm. so so too bad. Is it too late to find her? You know, on Instagram, she died. She died? Yeah, yeah, she died. See, so there is justice. No, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Y'all playing. God, God, no, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> she had some form of cancer or something. She died young, but um, but I just thought that message could really solidify a lot. Like if I performed this message. I had women come to me crying after the show. I had women heckle me. They want me to finish because they felt like I was talking to them. But it's just a global thing. Like I know some places is okay for people to have multiple wives and they okay with having, but when you're destroying the foundation of a family that's set, a man can't do no more than we allow him to do unless that's he's breaking right. the law. That's right. You, know, if you ain't got no morals about yourself and you think it's okay to be with somebody else's man, destroying foundation for children, mental foundation for his wife and all that, then you got to reap what you sow. You got to reap what you sow. Well, you show sure are fabulous. I Thank appreciate you. you so much. And I love your top. I have a Thank jacket you. that's similar, except it's purple. Uh, do you have stones? Are those are those stones on there? Is yeah, it stones? Mm -hmm. All kinds of stuff. That's beautiful. And I love the necklace. Well, thank you. Where you at? What city you in? Remember, I'm in Atlanta. How do you soup? The oh, you're right. I was just there. Oh, yeah. my God. For the tomato soup. Tomato soup, yep. Well, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. You were fantastic. I really appreciate this. And I thank want you. you to come on again, okay? I will be waiting for that call. Thank you. Tell people how they can find you. Born Again Words on... Uh, Born Again Words is on Facebook. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. No, Born Again Words on Facebook. <laughs> Be real nice on Instagram. And bornagainwords.webs.com is my website. Well, leave us with a woo woo woo, please. Woo 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 woo. All right, give it up, y'all. The fabulous. Be nice. That's Bernice Randolph. Woo woo woo. You were fantastic. Thank you. Hey, y'all, it's the Michael Kaya Morning Show. And you know, at this point, we had to slide into prayer. And if we ever needed prayer, it was right now. Okay. Um, oh, man. You know, it's really weird because all I want to pray about today is my gratitude. You know? I will pray about more than that, but it's really more about my... I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful that God allows me to live this life I'm living. I'm having so much fun. I'm trying very hard not to hurt anybody along the way. Uh, I just want to be joyful and peaceful, and I want to bring people with me. You know, I want people to also come up. You know, it's funny. I'm putting a uh, um, Help Wanted ad out today because I'm still looking for an assistant, but he has to live in my area, Palmdale, Lancaster, you know, one of the five cities that surround me. You gotta have a car. You gotta be sharp. So I'm, I'm still, I'm still putting that out because good help is so hard to find. But I am so grateful for what's going on so far. How people help me. How people come out the woodwork 
and say nice things and do nice things. So I'm just trying to grind, grind, grind. I ain't even trying. I'm grinding, grinding. I would listen to some Tyler Perry on his um, talk show. I mean, not on a book of his called, uh, I think it's called Reach for Higher, Declare Higher, Seek Higher Way. I can tell you. It's a really, it's a really good book. And with me, I don't read as many books as I listen. I listen to so many books. You know, I go to the book on tape. And his book is called, it's called Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry Higher is Waiting. So as he's he's giving, he gives these little stories about things he dealt with in his life. And what passages of the Bible he went to to help calm him down and heal him enough so that he can stay on his journey. I'm learning a ton of stuff about the business from him, but also about him from this book. I'm learning a lot about how he thinks and how he feels. This kid started after me. Tyler Perry started about eight years after me. And now he rich enough to pee cream. He richer than Jesus. He loaned Jesus some money last Tuesday. And it shows you. The thing we talked about early in the show, we all start on the same plane. But depending on how much you grind, what your direction is, will determine how you get there and get to your higher. Because higher is waiting. Check out his book, Higher is Waiting. I wasn't trying to do a promo for him, but I listened to it the whole way flying from Atlanta to L.A. yesterday. And it really set my soul on fire. I wrote a lot of notes and stuff. So anyway, I just... A long story short, and I don't know why anybody like me would ever want to make a long story short, but I do want to say um, I am grateful. I am grateful for everything, every little thing, every relationship I've ever had, every person I've ever met, whether it was good or bad, because everything that ever happened to me brought me here today to where I am right now. I'm sitting smack dab in the middle of my thing. So let's get started. We start with a holy breath. Hold it in. Think one positive thought. Now exhale slowly. Father God, yes, we are here again to say we love you, Father God, and thank you, Father God, and we appreciate you, Father God. Oh, Father God, as we open our hearts, our souls, our minds, our spirits, we invite you to come in and fill us with your love, your peace, your passion, your joy, your wisdom, your sense of kindness, your sense of understanding, your sense of giving, your sense of forgiving. Teach us how to be strong enough to forgive others for the things they've done to us or that we perceive they've done to us, even greater than that. Teach us how to forgive ourselves for everything we have done, Father God. We love you so we know we're already guided and we're already guarded and we're already protected because you're in us as us and around us, Father God. And all the worry and the senseless. If you're going to pray, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't pray. Oh, Father God, we pray that you bless us today and bless us indeed. We pray that you enlarge our territory greatly. We pray that your hand will be with us and guide us past evil and we will cause no pain. In fact, Father God, we pray you take that same hand and guide us towards more wisdom, more joy, more prosperity, more light. You know, Father God, we adore you. Thank you for waking us up this morning, putting us on that wake up list. Thank you for continuing to be the wind beneath our wings. So let this day and this weekend be outstanding, Father God. Please, special protection for my co-host, the wonderful Ashley Gale. Her and her whole family driving across town. She's on her journey, Father God, to come here so we can continue to build this dream of ours protect her on that road and all those fabulous kids and her mom and them, they're all in the car. Thank you, Father God. Uh, anyone out there at all who needs a blessing, I was just going to look real quick. Anybody out there who said, well, mama this, somebody that, I want to throw that blessing in. Uh, it said, may come back a generation. Okay, I don't see it. Sometimes people say, well, you know, my mama hurt her foot, you know. I said, well, let's pray on your mama foot. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, all right. All that's out the way and done, so let me just finally say, Father God, I'm so thrilled to live in your, I don't know, in your purview, in your sight, in your, I'm I'm glad to belong to you, Father God. That's I know who I belong to, and I'm glad that I am yours, because the more I face God, it's like I'm facing a light. The more I face God, the better my life gets. I ain't perfect or nowhere near it. I'm messing stuff up in about 15 minutes. Just give me a little time. But I'm always going to try to do the right thing. And I'm always going to reach out to Father God because God is always the number one in my life. And so we say thank you, Father God, for our home, for our life, for our health, for our joy, for the light today, for the vision to see. I have one of my unsighted friends, Phil, is on. I love him. Phil may be blind, but he sees more than so many people. All of it is a blessing. We're here. 
If you woke up this morning, you already won. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Father God. Continue to bless us this entire weekend. Bring us love, joy, peace, and power. And so we say in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. I mean, I say, boom shakalaka. And in the famous words of those of us who call ourselves the Kaya clan, woo, woo, woo. Come on now, where my woo, woo, woo at? Come out. Woo, 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 woo. Come on, somebody. We doing good. We only got a couple more acts before we get out of here. Wait, wait, um, Michael. Yes, sir. It's 11 o'clock. Oh, you got to go. Yeah, I got to go to the get show. Get out of here, why y'all you <laughs> hey, I want to say thank you to Kamal Speaks, who jumped on once again last minute. I got in. And some folks can't make a thing. He jumped in and fixed it, jumped in. Him and Derek Keener was just last minute people. I love you, sir. Have a magnificent no, I- Today. I love you. Thank you for the honor of having me co-host. It's a dope show. I mean, it's some dope acts, and I mean, the greatest host ever. You king. So thank you. I'm learning. I'm getting my my hours in. You be blessed. Thank you. And woo 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 woo. woo. <laughs> Kamal speaks. You can get him at Kamal speaks one, y'all. Make sure you follow this king. You know you coming back again and again. We love you. Hey, y'all, it's Mike Kai Morning Show. It is August 12th. What y'all plan on doing? What you, you know what? I was at the store just now. This morning, I went to get stuff like salads and things because my house, I've been out of here almost 21 days, so my house was ripe. Plants are dead. Nothing has been watered. My doggy ain't here. I'm going to get her in a few minutes. Uh, but none of the stuff in the refrigerator is fresh no more. I had to throw everything out. It started all over. You know, I went and got myself a wonderful pasta for, from... Uh, Louisa's Trattatoria in Hollywood. They make this shrimp and garlic pasta. I've checked, but I made my own salad. So I chopped up some lettuce, tomatoes, avocados, a little red onion, a little uh, apple, you know, and put my salad together, right? And I came in to do my thing. And I'm just so grateful to be home, to be in my own house, you know? So we are here and we are blessed and we are doing this doggone show. So, Father God, thank you for all of it. Let's get to our next person. And Angela, who's going to be doing the food today, says she got some special thing for me. But I think she says a vegetable. She don't know. I, I just I just ended like a nine-year run with a vegan that was a brutal vegan, you know? I like be eating chicken. She said, oh, I see you're eating caucus. Yes, and I'm putting some barbecue sauce on that caucus. Yum, yum. Where the fries? Who got the fries? I'm sorry. Excuse me. All right. Anyway, if you ain't going to love your life, get out of here. If you're not going to have fun, don't show up. God created us to have a good time. He created us to, to, to grow and to sing his glory and to celebrate the thing called life. Anything besides that, if you're not celebrating life, if you're not loving yourself and loving your God and dealing with positivity, then you're off balance, baby. Get back on the balance. Get back in the center so we can fly together. Okay, let me go right now to Demandre. Demandre Christie is an actor, a filmmaker. He's a director. In fact, right here, I want to show you really quickly. This is one of the films Demandre is in. It's just a really quick, short little piece. I hope you bear with me. I think it's this. Her name is Sadie. And she's a fast learning, cash earning, very, very interesting lady. I'm singing, but he could have. I understand why he didn't think about his brother. Anyway, let's get our hands together for Demandre Christie. Woo! Demandre Christie. What's going on? What's going on, Mike? Hey, it's another beautiful day on the planet, sir. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How you doing? Oh, man, outstanding. Now, look, you are an actor and a director? Yes, I'm an actor first, and then I direct, too. Mm -hmm. But you're an actor first. Is this your movie? Yes, sir. No, I'm I'm acting in that movie. You're acting in this film? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell me the story. What's that story? The girl at the top almost looked like Tiffany Haddish, but it's not. Santosha. Oh, that's Santosha. (laughs) Yeah. She's a she's a cool she's a cool actress. Uh, Blind Confession is about a movie where a guy he's a gang a gang drug dealer. He's one of the biggest gangsters in Dallas. But he wound up into a crazy accident, and he winds up getting helped by a hometown nurse because he go through some situations. But mm. God tries to direct him back into another direction, so he allowed all that stuff to take place for him to 
bring him closer to him. So it's a faith-based film, but I actually played his best friend at a younger age in the movie. So I'm a whole total person, you know, in that movie. So yeah. Well, are you in? Are you on the poster? I'm not in the poster. I'm not on the poster, but I am yeah, in the trailer. I didn't recognize your face on it. Okay, cool. <laughs> but you in that movie, and you directed the mm -hmm. one I just showed a little piece of. Uh, Sadie's Chronicles. It's a TV sitcom. Mm -hmm. It's a TV sitcom you, that you're directing. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So, so where can we see it? Where's it going to be? Uh, Sadie's Chronicles were actually supposed to air September the eighth on Roku channel. Talk to Media Group. That's the uh, that's the name of the channel. And then we're gonna uh, have it locally out here in Dallas on a station out here in Dallas. And then we plan on doing some more stuff with it. But that's kind of where we are right now with it. So, so yeah, tell so. tell the listeners, the people at home. Mm -hmm. How does one go about following the kind of dream you have? Because clearly you want to act, you want to direct. Yeah. I mean, how did you start? Where you at? How you get there? Ooh. But to be honest with you, it's a journey. You know, you start off as an extra. You start off going to sets, just being in the back scene, just trying to trying to fit in, trying to, you know, just be the extra person. My my older brother's an actor, so I used to go on sets sometimes, and I was an extra or whatever. And it took, it took years, and I'm still developing, still growing right now. Uh, it's a process. So, but I've been blessed to act in multiple films that movie black confession is out right now uh on amazon prime it's on tubi you can go to fandango you can go to voodoo and i'm in another movie as well that's outside of that movie and then just uh say this chronicles that kind of i was networking with some uh, mutual friends and that kind of fell in my lap and we were blessed to get that started and get that going so they seen the uh the uh determination within me and the inspiration i had just trying to get everything going you can't you can't stop when it get hard, you know. Sometimes you may get nervous, you may want to quit, yeah, you may want to give up, but you got to keep going. So I stay positive. Yeah, I stay uh, positive. Well, I think we need to get you some potato salad or something. You just thin. <laughs> what do you weigh, like 111? What the hell is going on? What, you, what is your diet? I'm, one, I'm 165. <laughs> really? So you don't yeah, be really tall then. I'm six. I'm six one. Oh, okay. Because you did the spring bang. Okay. So what city are you in? I'm in Dallas. Okay, and what what is your ultimate project you would want to do? Would it be a film? Would it be a, a TV sitcom? Would it be what? What would it be? Well, I, I want to do it or starring in it. Go ahead. I would really, I would really star in it. I love I love to act. I love to bring these characters to life. I love to play somebody else where I won't be judged for it. You know, because in the real world, we judge for who we are. We judge for all this. We judge for all that. But when you're doing a role. You know, they only can judge you for that character. Like, oh, that's not really him, but he planned it so well. You know, so your, so. your goal is to be a star, uh, to act, to be an acting star. To be a, well, you know, I won't even necessarily say a star. You know, I just enjoy the craft. You just want I to do the craft. Yeah. I can, yeah, I just enjoy yeah. the craft. I just enjoy now, acting. I wrestle with the celebrity thing. You know, mm. I don't yeah. care how many times people say it to me, I, I don't live there. That's not where I'm mm. at. I'm not in here because yeah. I want to be considered somebody's star. Or so. I, none of that. I want to act. I just want to do I want right. to act. I want to do comedy. I want to perform mm. and do it the best I possibly can. All of right. the stuff they put on it, but I wouldn't go for it for that. See, a lot of people go for it for that. I mm. what yeah. they want to do when they grow up. Well, I want to be a star. Well, I don't know what yeah. that means. I don't really know what that means. I well, I want to I want to be rich and famous. What does that mean? Something has mm -hmm. to take it has exactly. to be passed. To get you to whatever it is you want to do, it's not a bad goal mm -hmm. to be famous, but there has yeah. to be a way to get there. How do you plan on getting there? What's the thing think, that excites you? You know, I think you know it comes with a price. I think all that comes with a price: fame, what? select fortune. Mm -hmm. um, it comes with your. Uh, it comes with being strong-minded. It comes with uh, being persecuted. It comes with being talked about, uh, misunderstood. It comes with things because you're mm -hmm. not in the limelight. You're in mm -hmm. something that you've never been in before. So now that you're in this light, you're like, it, it might not be something that you actually prepared for. You may thought it looked good because you're looking at it from another person's perspective. We might be looking at it, Michael, from your perspective. Oh, Michael's done this and done that. But we don't know what that comes with. You know what I mean? We don't know. So, yeah, we don't know what that comes with. So if we can look at Will Smith or Denzel, for example, you know, they just went through their situation, Will, but we ain't gonna go into that. But it comes with a price. Right. When you it's are in their life, it could be a lot of pressure. Yeah. It, it could be it's a lot, lot of pressure. pressure. You know, like for me, my thing is I, I'm more and more can't be in crowds. So more and more if I'm in crowds, mm -hmm. especially crowds of black people, I got to take 30 pictures. Yeah. I got to take 
40 pitches because I can't mm. tell nobody no. If I tell one person yes, I can tell everybody yes, you know. So the, it comes. Why you can't tell no one no? Huh? Why you can't tell I, nobody no? Why can't you can't tell no one no? The reason okay. that I get to live like I live is because those people mm. buy this and they buy that and they support me mm. and they're there for I mean, of course, I can say no if they get on my nerves. I will say no. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. say no and cuss them out too. <laughs> but I don't. I don't go there often. Yeah. Generally, gen yeah, generally, yeah. if someone approaches me and asks for a picture or autograph, I always say yes. I mean, I, I say generally, but mm -hmm. ninety nine percent, I say yes. But I was just uh, when I get, mm -hmm. I was trying to get to Atlanta. My plane was stuck, so for nine hours I had to oh. stay in Newark, New Jersey. And my friend called and said, man, come on, I'll take you around. I will hang out. And I said, cool. He said, I'm going to take you by a cook to a cookout. And I said, no, nigga. Mm. I ain't going to no cookout. Because if I go to cookout, <laughs> that's 90 people who all want a picture. So I'm not going to be able to just that's chill. Fine. So he said, no, yeah. no, I'm going to shut that down. So what he did is when yeah. he got there, he shut it down. He told everybody, ain't no pictures. Ain't no videos. Ain't no, mm -hmm. And it was cool. And I sat down, they yeah. broke out ribs and, and they broke out all these wonderful dishes and I had a hookah and there I was, mm -hmm. but I should have been working hard. I was sitting in the park with family eating. I realized God wanted me to have that break. So I said to the guy, well, look, man, somebody wants a picture. You know, I'll give him a mm -hmm. picture. How are you going to say no <laughs> to your family? And y'all making me feel right. like family. Right. I haven't said no to family. This Negro right. jumped right. on that. He took me to every person there and made sure I took a picture. So I ended up taking 45 pictures again, which took me right back to where I didn't want to be. But as you right. said, <laughs> there's a price for this. If you want to be out there, yeah. you expect yeah. some of this. You have to be, you know, kind to people and, and you know, conscious mm -hmm. of what you're doing. I'm sorry. So go yeah. ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm listening to everything you're telling me. I'm just. Okay, well, um... we have 55 people viewing right now actively and i hope that y'all be so kind as i hit that like button that like button means a lot to us because once you hit that button uh well other people know you like us <laughs> is that why we do that i'm not even sure why the like button is so important but it is i'm sorry that just popped up i don't know what happened all right so you want to be an actor. You, your mute is on, I think. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so, so you want to be an a acting star. So mm -hmm. tell me yes, the sir. role you want to play before I get out of here. What what role, if you could play any role or be anybody, because you say you like to do, you know, be someone else. You want to escape into somebody else. What is that ideal mm -hmm. part for you? Well, it definitely be something the opposite of me, because I'm real kind of hearted, real, ch real chill person. So I would want to be... I've actually, you know, to be honest with you, I play a villain in a project that's coming out next year. Um, I play a totally different character. I'm a butthole, and it's okay. so good. I don't even want my, I don't even want my mom to see it, you know, because uh. Oh man, that's yeah, good. I, I was, uh, if you yeah, such a butthole that you only want your mama yeah. to see it, you probably did some pretty good work. Yeah, yeah. So they was like, What's man. The name you, of it? Uh, it's actually a TV uh, series called Smears. It's not out yet. They're still working on it. Uh, they said okay. it'll be out next year. Smears, yeah. Um, I'm working on that. But to say the least, I would want to play an action role, like a action type of adventure type vibe, you know, something. You know how the Rock be doing his movies and he's always in Jumanji or something of that right, right, right. nature. Yeah, front of that nature well, you run into a whole different movie. Pounds. How are you going to be in an action movie? Someone's going to throw so let me you a spear. Let me tell you something, Michael. Hold on. So <laughs> I, I, ran, I ran a track. I ran a track, okay, for 11 years. I was, I was a quarter mile. So my metabolism is high. So oh. I, have muscle, I have muscle under here. It's just a shirt. I like the shirt fool you now. <laughs> but now I'm, I'm, <laughs> nah, I'm, I got a little weight on, you know. And you know, what's, that's the beautiful part about the body. They can bulk you up. They can uh -huh. bulk you up how they need you to be. So you just got to get bulked up, you know. Depend on what role it is. You can do it. I'm hoping you get whatever role you want, young man. And God I bless you. I'm glad you're off to a good start. Thank you for stopping here at the Mike Kai Morning Show. Can you tell people yes, how sir. to find you? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, you guys can find me on Instagram at D A K E E M C one. You can find me on Facebook too, Demandre. Uh, Mr. Corey say Christy, but it's Crystal. Uh, D A M O N D R Y. It's Crystal. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Okay, so that's it's crazy. Because when I talked to you, I <laughs> called you Crystal, and you said it's Christy. And I, re I rewrote it. Also, maybe I Not said Christy, it. and you changed it to Crystal. It's Crystal. Crystal yes, sounds better. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, the mind Drake yes, Crystal. Right here on the Mike Kite Morning Show. Give us a woo woo woo. Woo woo woo. <laughs> yeah, boy, get up, y'all. It's just me giving up to you, but I'm giving it up. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The mind Drake Christy. Check him out. Write him. Ask him, a, ask him an acting question. Get this ball on his toes. Thank you, brother, for yes, being here on the Mike Kite Morning Show. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful week. Appreciate you, man. All right. We have, we have just one more poet. We're going to get to the cooking. I swear, this is only a 90-minute show. So in about 15 minutes, we out here. This next poet's name, and I think she came on before, and she has a new book out. She's from St. Louis. Get your hands together for poet Crystal Walker. Now, when I say get your hands together, that means, uh, this is Cynthia, Cynthia Walker. That means even if you just at home by yourself, I'm going to need to hear you. Applaud. All right, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Cynthia, Cynthia Walker. Hello. Ah! How you doing? <laughs> Good morning. I'm How doing well. I'm doing very well. Okay, I'm gonna need you to do me a favor. I just want to get me some tickets to the baseball game. Oh, you back up to go off and come back. Okay. Oh, you're synced. No, no, okay. don't do it. Don't do it. You. I got to her late. The information got to her late because then she synced up. So she'll be right black in a second. And then when we end this whole thing, Miss Angela Michelle has a special dish on board. Woo woo. She's coming live from her backyard. Y'all saw that fabulous garden she had. I'm going to build a garden in my yard. I got a big old yard, but it's just, man, it looked like a bad parking lot. You know, it's just dirty and the stuff is in it, the dog, the poop there. Well, but I'm going to have pit landscapers come in. We're going to have a garden back there. We're going to have grass, all that stuff. Yeah, a little bit of time. A little bit of time. Okay, I think she's back. Let me see. There she is. There she hey, is. hey, 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 hey. How hey, you doing? Hey, 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 hey. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Can you hear me better this time? Perfect. Perfect. Good. Now, you Perfect. came on the show before? You came on the show before? Uh, yeah, I've been on your show before. I, I did a poem. I thought so. And and you told me that I had lots of bad luck behind the poem that I had done about me beating cancer and stuff a couple of times. Oh wow! Oh, you wow. beat cancer a couple of times. Cancer a couple of times. Yes, sir. I beat stage four breast cancer and kidney cancer. You beat stage four, beat breast, stage cancer? four breast cancer. I did. What the hell did you do? What, what the hell did you do? do? What did you do to do that? I like, prayed. That? I prayed. Wow. I prayed. Wow. I believed. Wow. Wow. And I won. Wow. Wow. That's, that's amazing. amazing. That's amazing. That and I know prayer work has changed everything, everything, fixed everything, everything, in, my everything in my life. So I know you're talking about what you know. Okay. Mm. I certainly do. What city are you in? Oh, you're I'm in St. Louis. Louis. Okay. I am the St. Louis poet. Good. So what do you have for us today? What poem do you have for us today? Well, I wish Kamal had still been here. That's one of my buddies from online. We have a poetry community. And oh, yeah, this is yeah, one yeah, of the yeah. ones I share with him first. Yeah, he has it's titled, mm -hmm. it's titled Ain't Nothing Weak About Being Christian. Ain't nothing, Ain't weak, nothing weak about being about Christian. Being Christian. Girl, you better go Girl, ahead and say that. Peter too was a Christian. He was Jesus' ride or die. But he would cut her up about his homeboy. Check the records. I ain't telling no lies. You see, the 12 were new followers, not angels. They had paths full of some bad things. But then you see they ran into Jesus, the man that was repping God's redemption game. Simon, he was a hustling politician. And he brought the same energy, just not a serving the Lord. And then they straight kicked it and threw a big party when Max the tax collector came on board. Then there was Judas, a self-proclaimed thief and embezzler. His greed and betrayal ultimately responsible for Jesus' demise. Though Potter's field was bought with Christ's blood and those 30 pieces to bury the poor near where he died. Psalm says that the meek shall inherit, but don't mistake meekness for weakness or fear. 
because ain't nothing weak about being Christian. Peter tried to take Malachus's head, not his ear. Peter too was absolutely a Christian. He was for real, for real. Jesus is ride or die. But he would cut a op about his homeboy. Check the records. I ain't telling no lies. I love God. <laughs> That's from my second book, Unapologetic, More Lyrical Thoughts of a St. Louis Poet. I love it. And that. you are the proud owner of my first inspired. I, yes. Yeah. Well, congratulations. And you see, I got t shirts now, too. I'm doing my thing. Hey, hey, so let me see. Google me. Say, Google, Google me, baby. Wow. Lyrical wow. Thoughts of a St. Louis Poet. <laughs> I love that. 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 That's awesome. That's awesome. So, Thank okay, you. So, okay. Um, um, tell people how to tell find people how to them. You can Google me. Lyrical Thoughts of a St. Louis Poet. I have a Facebook page, a podcast, a IG page, two books out, and I'm about to put out my third end of this month, early next month, God willing. And a partridge in a pear. <laughs> okay, you got it all, oh, baby. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. And, Thank you. Uh, and, uh, let me get on let my grind. Get on my grind. Releasing my two poetry books October first, and I need to step and it up. And it listen up. to me, remind me. me. I need to make sure I stay I on top. Sure of stay on top. When are you bringing that play to St. Louis? Oh, I hope very soon. Ooh, I we got very really pumped up because Ben Barine said, "Hey man, we got to get to Broadway." And since Ben Barine been on Broadway like twenty six times. If he looks yeah. at my show and thinks it's worthy, I trust that. I trust that. So I'm about yes, to, absolutely. I'm about to energy into, into it. it. I'm going to start I'm rehearsing, gonna start rehearsing, rehearsing every, every week so I have it even, even, even more solid. And, uh, and uh, we definitely don't say definitely it. Don't okay, yeah. I'll be there. I'll be there. Hey, I got one favor to ask of you. Yes, sir. Tell everybody about me. Mention me casually. I know a great poet. Send them yeah. my way. Yeah. I'm sending them your I'm way. Send I'm them your way. <laughs> Leave us with Leave a us woo, 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 woo. All right, y'all. All give right, it up to the one. Up to one. To one. To one. Walk up, walk up. Straight, straight out of St. Louis. 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 Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful week. Hey, y'all. It's the Michael Kaya morning. I think she's trying to say something. What you say, I said thank you and you too. See you later. See you later. All right. Hey, y'all, we only got one last person. And she's, man, you know, they always say the best to last. You know what I'm saying? This my girl. Oh, James is on woo woo the woo woo. Oh, earlier my niece was here. I don't know if she jumped up, if she's still there or not. But Shantae, who lives in Atlanta, I know they probably, man, Shantae, I didn't reach out to her or my other niece. She's my great niece. I have a niece and a great niece that live there who are both amazing women. Stunning, beautiful, intelligent, accomplished, funny. My friends, I love them. They family. You know, I love a family member and a friend because sometimes some of the worst people in your life is a damn family member. You'd be like, I can't, oh, I love him now. He a family member, but this nigga ain't. Anyway, uh, these are two women I just really love in my family. Uh, Shantae is one of the two, uh, Yonina is the other, and they're both in Atlanta. And I didn't reach out to either one of them this weekend because I'm telling you, I was too hard on my grind. You know, that makeup took an hour and 15 minutes just to put makeup on, it took almost that long to take it off. So I got sort of tied up in there. I it was kind of crazy in there. I didn't get a chance to reach out, but I'm coming back in two weeks, y'all, to Atlanta, and I will see you both. Mwah. I love you, niece, if you're listening. Uh, all right, let me get to the wonderful chef. Angela Michelle, culinary kisses for you, baby. Hey! Hey, Cody. You are in the park. Now, look, uh, show us your garden. I'm going to go off and come right back on. Because okay. Everything I say seems to be doubling up, but it's not now. It's no, it's not now. Okay, it I was, know. but it's not now. You good. You want to know it. Hi, Angela. How are Hello, you? Hello, honey. How are you? I'm excellent. What you doing out there? What you what you doing uh -huh. in that garden? Because you know I come on stage and I say, "Where are the vegans in the house?" And they raise their hand. And I say, "F all of y'all." You know what I'm talking. <laughs> what are we doing today? Yes, yes, yes. So I have been saving this side of my garden for you for last. Okay, mm -hmm. so let me show you. Let me show you what I have going on. Okay, so here, uh, how about some okra, Mike? Well, I'm not an okra fan. 
But okra is really good for you. I can't. Yes, take it, I can't it take is. It. I can't take it. I'm sorry. The texture kills me dead. Oh, you sound you like my husband. It. Even if you fry what? it, I can't do no okra now. Okay, okay. What about some tomatoes? Ooh, those are nice. That's the one thing we kept eating in North Carolina. Yes. Green, fried green tomatoes. Oh, yes, I love fried green tomatoes. And here I have some lima beans. Let me see the lima beans. Can you see the lima beans? Wow, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is what I really want to show you. Are you ready for this? What you got? What you got? I'm ready. Okay, I'm gonna start oh, from the ground. Collard greens, cause you know I love collards. Yeah, I showed you the collards last week, but I can show them to you again. Well, what is that I'm looking at? Keep going. It goes. It keeps going. It keeps going. I see stuff at the top, but what is it? Is it lemons, limes? No, these are beans. These are my beans. Can you believe that they are wait, ten wait, feet wait. tall? What do you mean beans? They look like. They look like uh, green like, beans. They're round like they're like a fist. Green beans are little bitty things. No, they're Oops. green beans. Check it out. Oh, I have yeah. to get up on top of my ladder. All right, be careful though. I am. <laughs> right. These are my green beans. Look at this. Let me see. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Yes. Oh, I can't yeah. believe it. they are literally ten feet tall, Michael. Can you see this? Yes, that is amazing. Isn't that ridiculous? Yeah. yeah, I'm doing stuff like that. I'm going to do stuff like that. You're going to do stuff like that too? Yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So, yeah, I had to show you my 10 feet tall beans. These are actually Kentucky Wonder beans. I wonder. Okay. Yes, yes, so what, yes. So what are you cooking for us today? So I want to show you. Let me come down here so I can show you my harvest. There we go. So you can see green beans. You can see okra, tomatoes. These are shishito peppers. Oh, are they hot? Uh, they can be hot, yes. Okay. And check this out. This is my zucchini that I picked yesterday. What? Can you see how big that is? That's a good-looking zucchini. And I you, know, right? You grew that in your yard. What's that? You grew that? Yes, I picked it yesterday. What about that beautiful flower? Did that come from your yard too? Yes, it did. So this is a dahlia. Oh I accidentally picked it. Um, this is a baby one. The full ones are about four times this size. Wow. Yes. Yeah. And everything's organic. Everything is organic. I don't use Miracle Grow. I don't use any of that. Everything is absolutely organic. Okay. All right. All right. So what did you fix, fix for us? Today? Yes. So today we have a recipe that I call the beans is the beans, not the beans. The beans, the beans. <laughs> summer salad. Check it out. I'm gonna. Oh, oh man. Yes. Amazing. Let me throw that up. Here's the menu. Yes. So those are the health benefits. Here's the menu. Uh, the beans, summer salad. I thought we just gonna have beans in it. With my, with my magnifying glass. You got green <laughs> beans. Snap and lightly steam, canned black beans, rinsed and drained. Oh, I like the juice from the can. Canned red kidney beans, canned white cannelli beans, diced jalapeno peppers, diced white onions, raw honey. Yes. Or organic sugar, red wine vinegar, Dijon, yes. butter, salt and pepper to taste. Okay, all right. So oh, all those sounds delicious. So is that a cold dish though? Yes, it is. I mean, you could serve it hot if you wanted to, but I like it cold. And I'm going to start just to kind of give you guys a tidbit of what's to come. I'm drink. going to start doing some drinks on your show too. Some oh, fabulous what drinks, is right? That one? What is that one? This is my um, hibiscus rose lemonade. Wow, but that's tasty. That looks tasty. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how to make this. But next week, Next week, and you always try and have a surprise for you, right? I'm going to be outside next week, but next week I'm going to be on my grill. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come Come town. That's going to be a live show right there. I knew you would like that one. I knew it. <laughs> oh, how do you make the green beans? You just whip them all together? And... 
Yeah, so what I did was I took a little bit of broth and a little bit of vegan butter and kind of lightly steamed the beans. So they still have a little snap to them, right? They're not super soggy or anything. Yeah. Yes, a little crunch to them. And then I let them cool down. And I actually like using dry beans and letting them soak overnight. But you can use canned beans if you want. And then I just mixed everything together and put it in the refrigerator. That's it. Now, it's super up. easy. Now, you said dry beans, but you don't mean uncooked dry beans. No, you have to soak them overnight and then cook them. Yes. Yeah, because I don't want you to have people thinking they're just going to take some beans out the bag and, and put them in there. They're going to bust their tooth. Yeah, they're like, going yeah, like to have to go to the dentist. Okay. <laughs> right. oh, but that's beautiful. it. I, and I would, eat I would eat that. You ain't put no okra in there. I did not put okra okay. in here. I started oh, to. But I was like, mm. All right. So, yeah, that's well, it. okay. The bean summer salad sounds good. Good, says Cheryl. Yes. Uh, yeah, well, that looks delicious and healthy. Oh, you want me to show them the health benefits? Oh, yes, please. Health oh, benefits. Loaded with vitamin A, C, and K. It's great for health heart. I never heard of oh, vitamin my. A. What the heck is that? Vitamin A? Oh, that's a good K. one for you. K, like key. K, what's vitamin oh, K? Oh, vitamin K, Yes. I vitamin K is good. Yeah. yeah, that's good for arteries. It's good for eyesight. Cabbage is loaded with vitamin K. Hey, y'all, I think she making stuff up. I ain't never heard of vitamin K. I am not. <laughs> Has anybody else watching this show ever heard of vitamin K? If you have, please throw it up. Somebody yes. said, Google, it. Google vitamin K. I promise you. I'm going to lie to you. <laughs> we got the we got to eat this meat. That's right. That's my man James Williams. We got to eat these animals. Come okay. back next week. Come back next Friday. I'll be on the grill. I'm on the air, Malika. What would you like, dear? Okay, I'll let you know I got your coffee. Bye. Oh, yay. Bye. <laughs> okay. All right. Wait now. Wait. I want people to throw it up. If anybody's seen vitamin K. Okay, wait a minute. Vitamin K is a daily regimen for uh, Darlene. Okay, darling. What? Yes. I never heard. Oh, somebody said potassium. Is there potassium in that? Oh, potassium is yes. It's not that much. There's actually more potassium in an avocado than it is a banana. But okay. potassium is very, very important. Very important. Look, he's calling their kisses. Jeff said he's a vitamin kisses. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I oh, love I love it. that. Now, if they say yes, it's a cereal called Special K. Is vitamin K in Special K? No. Are you sure it's not? Yes. You know, I'm going to research this because they probably did put vitamin K in there. I'm going to the store from you here. I'm going to that up. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to let you know. All right. I want to hear about that. Vitamin K is okay. This yes, it is. Oh, my God. Somebody, and she it daily. I never even heard of it. Oh See, that's what we're That's what people heard of it. Okay, all right. I'm gonna need to get out the mustard and ketchup. Um, because <laughs> I'm clearly <sighs> I got issues. Okay, let me put you that good. down. You good. Thank you. I love that dish. That is nice, that is fresh. Best way to run out of here, too, with a nice, yes. fresh dish. We've done our hour. Don't you leave. You stay with me as we tell the people goodbye. I'm going to go okay. to the thing that I was just taught by Katosh is that we have music underneath us, girl. Uh, okay. We want to find in the ducks. Oh. Can you hear that? Oh. Hey, you feel it? Okay, y'all, we want to say thank you very much to the wonderful Angela Michelle and her culinary kisses. Big old hug to your husband from the whole show. We love you. We adore you. Tell people how they can find you. Yes, fam. You can find me all over social media at Culinary Kisses. Hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on TikTok. And hit me up on YouTube. Whatever you do, hit her up because she is bringing fresh food to the table and showing us how to live good and being sweet and beautiful about it. Mwah, mwah. God bless you. Wow. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, 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 woo. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Angela. See you later. Thank you, babe. Have a good weekend, babe. Hey, y'all. It's the Michael Kaya Morning Show. And you know it's time for us to go. You might as well hit the door.
Park on lay down on the floor. Hit the mic and tell your moan and yo. Where you close the flow, come do your thing. Try to get the swing. It ain't nothing but a chicken wing. And you might well go and do your thing. Hey, y'all. I got bars, baby. I'm so happy to be back. I couldn't even tell you a portion of all the stuff that happened to me over these three weeks. But next week is where I come back Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. All the shows are live next week. I'll be going into detail about all the different things that happened to us. Oh, I'm calling Ben Barine as soon as I get off the phone. I'm hoping that he'll sit down and talk to me again because he is the man a hundred grand. That music stops, so we're going to go into space. Space. We're going into space, y'all. Friday, y'all. The Michael Kaya Morning Show about to wrap up. I'm about to go. I miss my co-host. She's fabulous. Her energy is great, but she's on her drive. She's on her way. But what else can a brother say? It's Michael Kaya Morning Show. This is where I come when I want to glow. This is what I put you in the know. I miss the gold boy, but so, so, so. It's the Michael Kaya Morning Show. It's Friday, y'all. Now I'm going to go. Do your thing. Go on, swing, and I'll see you Monday. It's a chicken wing. All right, I'm out of here. I'm too. I get as much as I can. I can't do no more. Um, y'all all know how to reach me. Uh, we're going to start reading letters from the fans. So if you guys have letters, just write us at uh, comicking123 at AOL.com. That's my direct email, comic. One, two, three at AOL.com. And some of these letters we're going to come on and, and respond to and read back and the whole thing. So thank you, everybody. Have a great weekend. I'm so happy to be back. I missed the show so much. I love live. And I got a big announcement Monday. Da -da 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 -da. Don't miss it. And we'll give some stuff away. See y'all later. That's it. I'm going to hit that end button right now because I want to hit the button. It's over now. We'll hit the button. I'm going to pile like that.